What's up guys, Austin Dunham back again with another video. I am not gone, I'm here still making videos as you can tell. I know you guys have been like, where have you been Austin, when's the next video coming? Well, today we're gonna to do another Q&A Sunday where you hashtag AskAD and I answer your questions for you guys, all right? Now let's get into the first question. I got six of them right here. All right, the first question is from my Facebook and it's from Chris and he asks, what should I do to gain strength, size, and stamina at the same time. Now Chris, uh, I'm gonna recommend you to a video that I made recently, which is called How to Build Muscle with Calisthenics. I follow all those principles in that video and I've gained strength, size, and I also gained stamina and I maintain my stamina. Since I'm in Air Force or RTC, I gotta be able to run fast. And actually I ran my mile and a half in a minute and uh, 30 seconds. And that's one of the highest scores in our detachment. So go check out that video and you'll get your answer. All right, Nidalus, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. He asks, is it better to work full body or split routines? Uh, this is gonna vary to, uh, according to your level. And uh, split routines are better for beginners because you're just sticking to the compound basic movements of an exercise. And you know, you gotta master the, basic, the basics first. So as a beginner, I say go full body. And as you get into the intermediate advanced stages to where you're working skill training and other harder movements and putting more um, stress on each body part, that's when I recommend you start splitting your, splitting your routines like I do. I do push pull legs, push pull, or you can do, well, essentially push is chest and triceps and pull is back and biceps. So you can split it into any way that you want. Just make sure that you're working the muscle group twice a week but like I said, as a beginner, I recommend doing full body. And as an intermediate advanced training, I recommend splitting up body parts in the week. All right, Justin asked, can we Skype you to ask training questions? And Justin, um, that is a good idea. I'm not opposed to the fact. Actually, I kind of like it, but I'm gonna wait till my channel grows a little bit higher. And then maybe um, you can start Skyping me and y'all can start asking me questions face to face. I think that would be pretty cool. The next question is, how many days does your body remain in shape if I don't work out? And I'm not sure who asked this. I forgot to get the name. I'll put the name right here, whoever asked it. And basically they're asking, how long can I work out without losing muscle? And since I constantly work out, this is a hard question for me, but I've read somewhere it takes up to around a month to three months to start like noticing your um, atrophy muscles like muscle loss and being skinnier but honestly if let's say I go three days without working out I start feeling skinny and I start feeling weak and I look in the I look in the mirror and I look a bit uh, flatter if that makes sense so point is don't worry about this just try to constantly work out and stick to your schedule and you won't have to worry about this all right, CRO asks, can you do a V-sit? And yes, I can do a V-sit, but it's not like a good V-sit and I can't hold it that long. I had the strength to do it. The main thing that hinders me is my flexibility. Like, I can hold an L-sit for days, but a V-sit, I just gotta work on my uh, hamstring flexibility and then I'm sure I'll be able to hold it pretty long. All right, the last question is by Yusef. And he asks, what does my pool routine look like? And do I have a personal trainer that helps me with anything? And uh, first question, uh, what does my pool routine look like? Actually, I have a video showing my pool routine. I made it like this summer and I stick to that routine, have not changed it at all. I do skill training at first and then I stick to a vertical movement of pulling and a horizontal movement. And that is pretty much it. My skill training will be front and back levers Vertical movement will be uh, assisted one arm pull ups or one arm chin ups if I'm feeling like Superman that day. And then the last horizontal pulling movement would be uh, front lever rows. And do I have a personal trainer? And the answer to that is no, of course I don't have a personal trainer. I make uh, my own workout routines, I learn how to train myself and uh, what works best for me, and I apply those principles to my own training, and then I help other people people with the principles I learned for myself and so um, no basically no I do not have a personal trainer but I personal train other people you know that makes sense so it's kind of like a self-made personal trainer I've become but really nobody has taught me how to train myself 
I just started going in the gym and doing stuff and then I looked up more training principles like online and then I applied those principles to my own training. But that is basically it for the Q&A Sunday. Keep hashtagging as a D for your questions to be answered. This Q&A Sunday is not stopping. Even though I may not post every Sunday, the videos are still going to come out. And also be sure to check out the One Year Transformation video, which I hope you guys already checked out. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and also check out my other social media such as Instagram, Facebook, and all that good jazz. And lastly, please give me video ideas in which I can uh, use because I'm kind of struggling on my video ideas and I really don't know what to make. So if you have any ideas or any suggestions, uh, questions, tutorials, anything you want to know, just comment below in the comment box below that like button and I'll be sure to hopefully make that video for you. All right. Uh, I hope you guys check out the video and that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.